Oh, the police department says it plans to release the body camera footage related to the in custody death of Daryl Williams. Williams was shot three times with a taser and told officers he had a heart condition before he later died. As WREL's Chelsea Donovan explains, local experts have specific police reform suggestions based on that case and Tyree Nichols's beating death in Memphis. We're deeply concerned with all the ways that policing can both uh, create justice and, and deep injustice. With the death of Tyree Nichols top of mind in Memphis and the death of Daryl Williams last month here in Raleigh, who died after police shocked him multiple times with a taser, Duke law experts gathered today for a discussion on police reform. And only a very small number of states have rethought the ground rules for when police can use force on people. Brandon Garrett, founder of the Wilson Center of Science and Justice, believes the death of Daryl Williams was unnecessary. More fundamental question is, why are you tasing this person? Why is it justified? What does what the public safety need to to incapacitate this person? In the Williams case, Raleigh police noticed alcohol and drugs in his car upon approaching him. Garrett believes police need more training on non-lethal tools as well as understanding medical conditions like with Williams, who told officers he had heart issues during his struggle with police. Many police officers are inexperienced or some are trained, but the training may be uneven. And we can't really expect police officers to be frontline medical providers. Others in the forum believe police departments need stricter or updated use of force policies. Some of the things that mayors or city managers can do, they can ask their police departments to review and revise policies. That has certainly happened quite a bit uh, in the wake of George Floyd's murder. Some believe police need stricter rules for themselves, and that would come at a state or federal level. This comes as the North Carolina House passed a bill yesterday that would toughen penalties for protesters, not strengthen police guidelines. There are very few laws that give police the kind of guidance and support or, or requirements that they that they need. Police have been exempt from all the rules that most government agencies have to follow. Chelsea Donovan, WRL News. Six officers from Raleigh Police are on administrative leave regarding the Darrell Williams case. The SBI is conducting an investigation into the death, and Raleigh Police has an internal investigation going.